Welcome back to Bay Sunday. Are you tired of living paycheck to paycheck? Looking forward to retirement, but don't have much in the account to look forward to retirement? Well, it's time to act. Our next guest says he can whip your psyche and finances into shape in three months or at least get you on the right path. His new book, Transforming from Consumer to Producer in 90 Days, is a road to financial freedom and more time to do what you really want to do in life. And isn't that what it's all about? Here to chat about it, the author, Darren Wortham. How are you? Great, Frank. Thank you for the invite. Well, tell us how long did it take to put this all together? The book took a year to put it together mm -hmm. and a year to edit it. That was the hardest part, was going through the editing process. But put it together, I had it done in less than a year. Now, your background, you're an engineer. Yes. But a motivational speaker. <laughs> You've worked in finance. You've kind of done a little bit of everything. How did uh, this all come about? It came together when I was doing real estate, and people wanted to do real estate, and they didn't have any money. So I thought, how do you get money? If you're going living paycheck to paycheck, and you're making a little less because the government's taxing us more, a little less because we're losing health care benefits at our job, how do you change that? So I said, rather than going back and blaming the government or blaming our corporations, let's go back and look at ourselves and work on our own inner economy to start controlling our finances and then invest it wisely. So we got to make decisions on our life. Yes. On our attitudes, on what we do day to day. And you've got a formula. Tell us your formula. Correct. The formula is set equals more money to invest. So save money, energy, and time, which gives you more money. It's really the produ being productive and effective with the savings to invest. Okay. So let's start. Let's get some tips. Energy. How do I save energy? What do you mean by that? Energy is actually going to be how you do things. So you can do things quicker, and you can be more effective doing it. For example, you could be walking faster. You could be taking the stairs. Uh, and being, so it's being more efficient. And then saving time is, is what you're actually spending with other people. And it could be walking a dog, or maybe walking a dog less. It could be working out at home versus going to the gym. So that's really that the savings of money is, is key. But if you don't do these other parts, right. you know, that's really the multiplier. And time is found. money. I mean, yes. if you're, you know, I'm one of those guys that never says no. And my wife hates me because <laughs> we're going here, we're going there because, you know, I want to help me. You know what? We need to spend some quality time to do some of the things that make us happy, you know. Right. Time is, as you get older, it becomes so precious, right? It is, it is. I'll give an example of it. We had Glide on here. I actually volunteer there. But I heard about this through a hands-on Bay Area. I'm throwing it out there because I, I was volunteering with them this weekend, and also I'm going to do something next week with them. But it was, he mentioned, the director mentioned, you should get on this program. Did you see this that was happening? Oh, wow. So, you know, the opportunities by volunteering is huge. And this is just an example of well, how that worked. Well, it's my dad. You, you never go anywhere unless you open up a door. Yes. And say yes occasionally. My problem is I say yes too much. You can say no occasionally, but it won't get you too far. What did you learn about yourself writing the book? Vices to give up. And I have a list. I've always had a list on my fridge of wants and needs. And I pretty much migrated all my wants to needs. And I have very little wants and needs left. So that was one of the keys. Was that my list was getting large. I was checking things off. I'm like, well, I don't even need that on my list. Yeah. You know, and then the real key is, what am I really investing in? And that's the fun part. I found things in my 401k that I wasn't doing correctly. Uh, for example, you, you could check a dividend reinvestment and cap, capital gains. When you, any gain type of gains, you can automatically check that. And when you have a stock that switches hands, say one company buys another company, you have to go back and check that box again. And something like that, over the t over long term, yeah, so that's those are a couple of examples. All right. Well, you say 90 days. What? Give us a couple of tips how you can whip your, your psyche and your finances into shape in three months. Yeah, I think we mentioned before about coffee, but one thing I talked about is just drinking more water yeah. and working out at your house. Uh, I have old Tybo tapes that I still use. You know, I, work, I have a gym at my house. I have a full gym at my house, but it just makes it easier. Right. So things like that could be immediate tips. I would also go back and verify... Some, I, I've met people that have matching funds at, the, at the, their job, the retirement plans, and they're actually not doing the matching. Now, I'm like, you need to, if they match 2% or 6%, at least do that. You could do something today and do an automatic increase. So every year, 1%, you can keep ticking up your 401k or whatever you have. Uh, so th those are examples. You know, write off things if you're going to donate. Write you know, it down. Write it down. Get the taxes and keep it. Those are some quick examples. I think you've got to be organized. You've got to show due diligence and make decisions in your life and make them work. The book is great, and we wish you all the best. Thank you. Appreciate Darryl, it. Thanks so much for coming in. If you'd like to get a copy of Daryl's book, you can log on to transformingtoproducer.com. We'll be back. More Bay Sunday. One more book to talk about when we come back. Stay right there.